what would you do if you discovered a plane crash? Would your answer be different if the plane you found contained 6,000 pounds of marijuana? In 1977, some people had to make that decision. My name is Jeff Fargin, and this is the High Adventure Podcast. I was a young rock climber in the mid-70s, and over the years, have spent a lot of time in Yosemite. Late in that summer of 77, I began to hear stories about a plane crash. I was not part of the climbing elite, or living in Camp 4, or part of the in-crowd. I would not participated in the event in any way. But the stories were out there. Over the years, the stories grew, as did my curiosity. It was a very different time, culturally, economically, and legally. Jimmy Carter was president. Elvis Presley died. Kanye West was born. Star Wars and Saturday Night Fever dominated the box office. In 1977, 22 commercial airliners and an untold number of private planes crashed. The most famous was the Mississippi crash of a Convair CV-240 that crashed and killed Ronnie Van Zant and other members of the Leonard Skinner Band. The most infamous was the crash of a Howard 500 into the frozen Lower Merced Pass Lake, located deep in the backcountry of Yosemite National Park. Nearly three million people visited Yosemite in 1977. Two of them were transporting three tons of marijuana, and many more would seek out, find, and benefit from this huge haul. How did it get there? Who were the pilots? Why did the government abandon the plane after finding it? What happened to all that weed? What about the cash and the small black book that were also found? Who was the strange guy in the suit that showed up in Yosemite Valley looking for that black book? Chainsaws, cartels, rangers, drug enforcement officers, dead pilots, local rock climbers, a couple of arrests, some new cars, dinner reservations, and a long line of people carrying bales of weed. Over the coming episodes, we'll deconstruct the story and legend of Dope Lake and the Yosemite pot plane crash. From idea to fact to legend to myth, the crash of the Yosemite pot plane is still a topic of conversation in living rooms, around campfires, and on internet forums around the world. Join us for our series on Lodestar Lightning and the 1977 Yosemite pot plane crash. Just when you thought you heard it all, there's more to the story much more high adventure podcast is produced by accidental productions follow high adventure on instagram twitter facebook and find us on all your favorite podcast platforms we'll see you at the crash site